buddy. What are you doing? You want food? Welcome back to a new vlog. So today's video is gonna kind of be a work day in my life. Try to be productive. It is a Monday, so I'm pretty tired and sore, and I'll explain why later. <laughs> but we do have to start work. So for me, I usually start work around 9 a.m., sometimes closer to 8 a.m. It just depends on what meetings I have and what I have going on for that day. Uh, today it is 8.45 right now. So first thing I do is I just log on to my computer and I need to just go through emails first. I have 328 emails in my inbox and that is insane. That's typically how much emails I have. When I sign off on Friday around like that 5 to 6 p.m., I think I ended up working a little past 6 p.m. on Friday if I remember. I'm like really busy. I have a lot of things going on. So yeah, usually first thing in the morning, I look through all the emails. And then I also look at my calendar to see what meetings uh, I'm gonna have today. It looks like for meetings, I have one at 11 a.m. So that's good. I have a couple of hours to just like catch up on emails and do like create my to-do list, get organized a little bit. The meeting at 11 a.m. is one that I run. So I need to do like a little bit of prep for that meeting too. make sure I have status updates on all of our projects to report on, see anything outstanding that I need from the teams and stuff like that. Looks like I have a meeting at 1 p.m. I have a meeting at 2.30 p.m at 3 30 and then also at 4 so i don't really like when meetings are just like scattered throughout the day like that i kind of like my meetings to be more stacked so that i have more bulk time to like get a task finished and get like things done because it really sucks to task switch as i'm sure you guys know too right with your guys's jobs so that's good i don't have any meetings right now until 11 a.m so now that i know that what i end up doing is i go back to my running to-do list that i have on my computer i've said it before that i love to keep track of all of my tasks in the notes app and i have it in a checklist form i usually have it broken down by priority daily things and then backlog items for work specifically i know i have like a separate personal to-do list and that's not what we're talking about here we're just strictly talking about like my work to-do list I'll pretty much pull up my list and compare it to my inbox when I start to go through it and see if any of my priorities have shifted at least for today in the morning if there's anything urgent that's requiring my attention that I need to get to first before tackling other things on my to-do list so yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna get to this morning. I try to say as much in-depth details as I can about my work because I know that you guys are really interested in it, but unfortunately a lot of what I do is very confidential. It's obviously Amazon, very confidential stuff. So I try to talk about as much detail as I can, but I can't obviously talk about details of my project or anything like that, but I can talk about at least like my workflow and like how I tackle things and, and generics instead of specifics. <laughs> Today is also just gonna be a very, very busy day. I'm already starting to look at a couple of these emails of blocking issues. We're supposed to have a launch tomorrow and there's a couple of issues, last minute issues that came up that are like blocking the launch. So I'm gonna need to figure that stuff out today to understand what's up because the launch needs to go out on, on time. We honestly can't afford for it to go out any later, like not even a day later. So I'm gonna have to put the team in line today. And of course, the nicest way possible. <laughs> went through my whole inbox and deleted everything that wasn't important and kind of either left things unread or started to flag things that were requiring my immediate attention that I needed to get to. I'm gonna start to prep for the meeting that we have we like your guys are going to join the meeting that i have at 11 and then just start to look at these blockers for our launch tomorrow because i think that this is what's going to require my immediate attention as of right now. All of these, like all of these, 
is numb? I cannot feel it at all. <laughs> like this lip doesn't move. <laughs> Are you drooling? I'm not drooling. I don't know how. <laughs> but I'm not. <sighs> but I like, I can't move my feet. You got move my feet. <laughs> It's gonna be a couple hours. Did you take ibuprofen too? So when that starts to wear off... I mean, I was starting to have pain and I took ibuprofen, so I'm good now. I'm okay. not having a pain. Okay. Yeah. Cause I mean, it's gonna be completely different once all the numbness wears off. What are you trying to say? My babe's gonna be a baby! <laughs> What are you trying to say? I already said it. Work is a nightmare this morning. I hate everyone and I hate everything. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Finally getting up from the computer, you guys. It's 2 p.m. I do this every time, and you guys know this. <sighs> time just flies. Oh no, is that a meeting invite? Hang on. Okay, I don't need to attend that meeting. I need to decide what I want to eat. I was kind of between a salad, but I've been having the exact same salad literally every single day for a couple of weeks, so I'm thinking maybe I want to take a break from that. Maybe, I don't know. A couple of options, it looks like I have. Um, I got some like, take home Panera bread. You know how like they sell this at grocery stores now? Which I really like because I love Panera soup. But I have baked potato soup and I also have their broccoli cheddar soup. So I could potentially have that. Or I still have like burritos that I got from Costco a little while ago. These organic bean and rice and cheese burritos. I'm thinking I'm gonna have that. Nice and easy, it takes like a couple of minutes. That's what we like around here. And then I think I'm gonna try to take my lunch now for the next 30, 40 minutes and eat and then hop back on. Cause yeah, I don't have any meetings until, when did I say? I don't have any meetings until 3.30, but what I just realized is I told you that it was two o'clock, but it's actually 1 p.m. because I didn't change the time on my stove yet since we just turned the clocks back an hour yesterday. Oh my God, it's throwing me off. You guys, I woke up, okay, I went to bed at I think 9 p.m., which is the earliest I've been to bed in like a year. No freaking joke. I don't go to bed until before midnight most nights. So it's pretty impressive that I, um, went to bed so early and i'll explain why i'm like exhausted from my weekends so i'll talk about that in a little bit so i need to go to sleep early but then i woke up at like seven and i was like oh my god is it time to work and i looked at the clock and it was 7 a.m and i was like oh wow i have like a couple more hours of sleeping this is great i ended up waking up at like eight which would have been nine if you think about it and uh yeah wide awake i was like okay let's get going let's eat let's start working and stuff because i'm I've had enough sleep essentially so anyways long story short it's not 2 p.m it's 1 p.m thank god oliver that makes me feel so much better can you imagine i went until 2 p.m to have lunch oh god we're gonna step away from the computer for like i said the next 30 to 40 minutes chill eat not stress about work because people are getting on my nerves today taking monday to a whole new level of wanting to quit <laughs> just kidding but seriously oh oliver get out of the fridge back up back up back up if only you guys could see all that i have to deal with under this line always tripping over him He's always in the way. Like whenever I talk, it's like his invitation to come over and say hi to me. He'll wake up from like a dead nap, dead asleep, and he'll come over. I'm just like, just stay where you are. You don't need to be everywhere I am all the time. It's like he has FOMO or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it.
So I finally got these mirrors hung up on, I think I did it on Friday, and you guys, I did it all by myself. I'm so proud of myself. These were uh, not light at all to do, and to try to get everything even. I mean, I messed up a little bit. Uh, this side right here is a little bit wider than this side, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it still looks really good. So um, yeah, I did this on Friday got up the energy to do it and i'm really excited that it's up if uh if you guys watched my last vlog you know what i was talking about i had like these mirrors just like leaning against the wall and it's been on my list to get them hung up for a little bit now so finally tackled that got that finish and i just like love how this makes the room look it just makes the room look a lot larger there's a lot more space like on the ground and stuff like ugh, i'm just i'm honestly super obsessed with this room now so a few other oh the sun's coming through i haven't seen sun and i feel like a very long time it's been so rainy and gloomy here in seattle for so many days in a row now so anyways what i was kind of like mentioning earlier there was something on the lens was that i was just super tired and sore from this weekend so i got up to a lot this weekend so it started off with hanging the mirrors which was successful and then on saturday oh and then uh someone thanked me okay thanks okay cool um the rest of friday i spent ripping up the flooring in my bathroom you heard me right i started and finished a bathroom remodel this weekend it's like a mini one and i'll take you over to the bathroom here in a second and yeah my mom came over and helped me with the full bathroom and then on sunday my brother bought a place and we helped him move into it so I'm beaten down. I have bruises all over my body. I am sore, I'm tired, Oof, what a weekend. And I was like totally off of social media the whole weekend too. Like I couldn't even be bothered to get on social media at all to do anything. So I'm really impressed that I'm even vlogging today because I'm still like just trying to catch up on everything that I didn't get to this weekend, you know, because I was busy with all that other stuff. So anyways, let's, let's just take you to the bathroom so you can see what I did. Oh, passing this, I just got this in the mail a second ago. So I haven't even tried it on yet. I just took it out of the packaging, but it is an oatmeal colored like shirt jacket. I have this one in black from the brand Good American. And I saw that they just came out in this color and I'm obsessed with that other one. Um, so I got this one to try too. It has like some pockets. It's really cute. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. So here is the bathroom. So I'll show a little bit of a before too. I think I have some footage of that, but essentially all that I really did, <laughs> I say all cause I'm trying to like minimize it, I guess, because it's not a full remodel. Like I didn't change anything with the shower at all. Um, I pretty much just did everything else in the bathroom. So it had different flooring that was disgusting. So we ripped that out and we continued the vinyl plank flooring that I have into the bathroom. I'm super impressed with the cuts that my mom and I were able to do with the threshold and underneath the toilet too oh and right up against the shower door because these were not like clean cuts you know and we didn't mess up at all so i'm super impressed with ourselves and we also ripped up the old toilet there's the old toilet i need to like take it to a recycling or a landfill center um and installed a brand new toilet and then you guys saw in another vlog that i got a vanity but ended up having to take the vanity out and then install the vanity back in so yeah kind of crazy i have like black lighting in here all of the fixtures and stuff are black aside from the original shower so everything hi and uh, the shower pretty much stayed the same. So I love this so much. It makes it seem like less busy and everything, you know? I was originally planning on doing like a full bathroom remodel, like ripping out the shower, tearing down the drywall, putting new drywall on and everything. But I don't know. I was just thinking like long term too. I put a lot of money already in this place. You have to compare like what the value of this place is versus how much money you're putting into it. Um, and I was just additionally thinking long term too with 
you know, Juan and I potentially moving in together down the line. And yeah, I just didn't wanna just continue to put more money into this, especially if I wasn't gonna be here to enjoy it. You know, I don't know, just thinking of that sort of stuff. So I was like, okay, I still wanna make updates to it. What can I do that will make it seem updated without spending like a ton of money? And plus, I did actually reach out to my contractor that did the rest of my house and he wasn't getting back to me. So I was also like, okay, well, I guess that kind of answers that question for me too of like, I'm not gonna do the full bath remodel. I'll save myself $15,000 and I'll just do this. So, I mean, this was under $1,000 for me to do between the vanity, the new toilet. Um, I had some leftover flooring. I just had to order one pack. And yeah, I mean, the fixture is off of Amazon and everything. So I'm really happy with this. I think that it looks a lot better without, of course, ripping out all the tile. Um, so yeah, did that this weekend. Oh, and it wasn't easy either. There are some stories with that, but we got through it. You can't have a renovation or do a project without at least something going wrong, right? Like nothing goes 100% smooth, at least in my experience with things. So anyways, thought I would share that with you guys. I'm really happy about this. I'm really proud of like how much I was able to do myself too, so yes. And I love, love, love how modern this toilet is and how this vanity looks with the floors. It's exactly how I was hoping it would look. Oh, it looks so good. Also another potentially uninteresting update that I did is I ordered all new blinds and installed that myself this weekend too, so. I don't know, it was just like a few remaining projects that I had on my mind that I wanted to complete with this condo, so I'm feeling good. I feel like it looks really good now. Just had some skim things come in the mail, so I figured I would do like a little skims haul, cause why not? I saw that Nordstrom released a lot of like this teddy bear, like cozy stuff. So yeah, wanted to try it out. I've never tried this stuff before. I got everything in two colors. These colors looked like the best to me. It was bone and desert are the two colors. And then I got a few different options cause I wanted to like obviously create some outfits too. So options that I got was um, like a full length half zip sweater. I'll of course try these on. I haven't tried them on yet, so I don't even know like how they look on me at all. Hopefully something will work out. Um, but I mean, in the inside is just as soft as the outside. It's like exact same material. So this will definitely be super cozy and warm for the winter time. There you go. That's a better look of the inside of these. And it has like pockets on it. I also love like this little cropped jacket moment. It has like some cinches on the side too. It's a full zip, full like long sleeve option. And then I also got two pant options. So I got one that is like an open bottom straight leg pant. I'm hoping that this isn't going to be too long. We'll see. Everything I got, by the way, is in a size extra extra small. And then this has like some pockets on it too, some zip pockets. Oh, you guys, this looks so cozy. And then the second jogger option is one that is like a skinny. So it's like a little bit tapered and not so much of a straight leg like at the bottom, you know? And I love like the little piping detail on on the side of the pants too. So love these colors and obviously you can mix and match the colors too. I think that would be really, really cute. And in the desert color, I got the same jogger, the one that was skinny because I thought that that might work out the best, but of course we'll see. And then in the sweatshirt jacket types, I ended up getting this half zip again and then also the cropped full zip too. So yeah, wasn't sure what kind of vibe I was going for but I'm really excited for all these pieces. I'll of course have it all linked below like I always do for you guys if you guys are interested in these items at all. Okay, I started trying it on and I figured I would add some commentary. So first and foremost, I absolutely love these cropped jackets. By the way, I am immediately sweating, so these are definitely extremely warm. I even think that this would be a great layer underneath like skiing, like when you wanna stay extra cozy or if you're like doing walks outside or just some 
reason, some occasion where you need to be extra cozy and warm underneath. Look at these. But anyways, I love this top. I think that it'll look good with like leggings or just, I don't even know, like maybe like the groove pants. Oh, that would look so good, especially because the groove pants are like extra high. These pants, these are the straight leg ones. These are a huge no for me. It does have a drawstring and I love like the pockets on it, but um, you can't roll these. And the drop crotch situation, I don't know. It's just like a little long for me. And then of course the... <laughs> <laughs> the length of these is not really petite friendly. It's super long too. Okay, here is the other option Which is like a half zip and then the pants that are a little bit skinny towards the bottom Not a fan of the combo together. <laughs> Gotta be honest I think this again would look really good with like leggings or something because it's a little bit big and a little bit oversized So it would help like balance it out a little bit again super hot super warm and cozy in here And then this is kind of like what it looks like a little bit like opened up, you know? These pants, huge no for me for the same reasons I've already mentioned. Like the drawstring on it. Not a fan of the drop crop situation. And then here are the rest of the leg, which fits a lot better because obviously it's skinny at the bottom so it doesn't drag on the ground, but obviously not petite friendly. Again, it's super like baggy down there, you know? Total win for the tops, that's for sure. And while I'm trying everything on, I might as well just show you the shirt jacket that I shared a little bit ago. So yeah, this is what it looks like on. It's pretty oversized. It's gonna look really good with jeans. I actually really like the way that it looks with this outfit too. So this is an Aritzia Bliss tee top and these are the Mega sweatpants. I mean, maybe it doesn't look good with the slippers. <laughs> But yeah, really simple, neutral color shirt jacket that I really like. I got this in, I think, like the size double zero. And it's like a cotton fabric. So yeah, really just flowy, easy going. It is a little bit more heavyweight too, which I like, but it's still like really flexible and stuff too. So actually really, really like this. I'm glad I got it. I got lost in the evening. It is after 8 p.m. now. I need to think of what I want to have for dinner. I kind of look like a greasy mess at this point. But pretty much this evening, I was just editing this vlog that you guys are currently watching so that I could get it up for you guys tomorrow morning. I was also FaceTiming with Juan again. I don't even know what we were discussing. We were mostly discussing, I think, Christmas ideas and stuff. My family is asking for Christmas ideas already, so I'm just trying to think of something. And that went on like a whole thing because I really want the always pan and it was on sale. And so Juan was like, well, I could just get it for you now. I'm like, you know, I'm not supposed to know what you're getting me anyways. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I mean, it was kind of chill, not a ton of things, but obviously when you work, there's only so much that I can show me sitting at the computer working, right? It's like not that exciting. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna begin the long process of trying to decide what I wanna have for dinner, but I am gonna get ready for bed. So I'm gonna take a quick shower to wash my body, wash my face, do all my skincare, get my pajamas on, just get all nice and cozy and call it a night pretty much. Probably watch some YouTube videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. What bud? Ready?